Mount Everest, the highest mountain in the world. Its sides are the epitome of challenge and its summit, the pinnacle of success. Most people who try to climb it fail and more than 200 people have died in the attempt. I don't think these guys are eating or resting. They just keep moving. Over here on the left-hand side of the screen is Jake Norton. He's looking up towards the summit, and he's going at quite a good pace. More shots coming from very close to the top of the world as they approach this summit and this crested ridge. They are really, literally, up in the sky. It's been a true feat of mountaineering. A professional climber, guide, and photographer Jake Norton understands challenges. He is one of only a few people to reach the summit of Everest twice. And by age 30, he had spent more than a year of his life on the mountain. I specialize from a climbing standpoint in helping people reach the summits of their dreams and up on the platform as a speaker. I, I also help do that by using my stories from the high mountains to inspire people to climb the Everest in their lives. From finding the 75-year-old remains of British pioneer climber George Mallory on Mount Everest. What you got, Jake? This is George Mallory. Oh my God. To rescuing dying climbers on three out of five expeditions, Jake has a wide range of experience in one of the world's most inhospitable places. From Fortune 500 companies to national associations, Nonprofits to schools and universities, Jake's authenticity and incredible life experience has inspired tens of thousands of people worldwide to climb their mountains. My life philosophy is really twofold. One is to find ever greater, ever loftier summits and Everest to pursue in our lives. And the other is to make sure that we recognize the opportunities we've had and try and give back and make sure that at least one life has breathed easier because we have lived. You embrace those challenges not as obstacles, but as opportunities. As opportunities for growth and for the growth that comes only by pushing ourselves to our limits. Jake Norton certainly can smell the summit. We talked to Jake before he started out from Camp 4. He wasn't really sure he had the strength to make this climb, and he has been out in front almost the whole way. To me, the Everest in our lives are really the essential fuel which push us onward past obstacles, over crevasses and challenges on the paths to our mountains. Because it's only by pitting ourselves against a seemingly unconquerable foe in our lives that we realize just how high we can climb, just how much we can accomplish, what lofty summits and goals we can attain. Using his photographs, video, and personal stories, Jake takes audiences on a multimedia adventure of the mind and spirit, which inspires people to identify and climb their personal and professional summits. How many of you feel like you've already climbed somewhat of an Everest, and yet you still have a lot of mountain in front of you left to climb? Candid and honest, Jake shares his real life challenges, fears, successes, and failures in the mountains. I was on my first Everest expedition. And they're staring up at 12,000 vertical feet of mountain rising above me. And you know that little voice that kicks on your in your head when you've gotten yourself into a situation that you're pretty soon going to regret having gotten yourself into? I was literally terrified, petrified. I had made it to my dream in life, and all I wanted to do was run, hide, get away as quickly as I could. All of a sudden, I heard a cracking, popping sound from up above me, sound of a massive avalanche. I'm looking around, where's it coming from? Where's it coming from? Finally, I could see up above me on the west shoulder, 100 tons of ice had broken loose, a massive avalanche. My teammates and I run off to the side out of the way, and 100 tons of ice moving at 100 miles an hour came within 50 meters of us. Whew. We all caught our breath, gathered our senses about us, learned a quick lesson about change on Mount Everest that day. I know that for me personally, it came immediately in the shape of a change of my long underwear, but it was, it was a necessary and immediate lesson about change nonetheless. Through powerful stories, Jake brings to life essential lessons that audiences can apply to their lives and their careers. 
And I use the acronym for my recipe for climbing Everest of getting fit. And that stands for two things. Of course, we have to get, we have to be physically fit. We have to take care of our bodies to climb the physical Mount Everest and the internal Mount Everest. But we also have to be internally fit, mentally fit. And that's where my acronym comes in and I spell it F-I-T-T. But that stands for fear, instinct, teamwork, and tenacity. So it's essential as we go through our lives, as you all go through your lives and your careers, that you identify the Everest you have in front of you. You identify ever higher summits. You get fit for the journey ahead. Overcome your fears. Trust your instincts. Be a selfless member of the collective team you have here. Be tenacious in the pursuit of each and every one of your summits. And if you do all of that, I can almost guarantee you'll climb every mountain you want to in life. And most importantly, you'll enjoy the journey along the way. Jake Norton is more than just a climber, a humanitarian, author, historian, and father. Jake recognizes the importance of the process over the end goal, the beauty of the journey to the top, rather than the short time spent on the summit. In my keynotes, I talk a lot about what I call the summit perspective. And to me, the summit perspective is the knowledge when you reach that distant summit, the top of the world or the goal at hand in your job or in your life, you look back on the journey behind you and you realize that the summit was truly, to use the cliche, just one small part of a much greater journey. To book Jake Norton for your next meeting or event, and to inspire your audience to reach their summits, please contact the person who provided you with this video.